Good afternoon. Welcome to BBC Online's Behind the Scenes Diaries. This is what you get to see that the punters don't. It's tricky, isn't it? I don't know whether they've opened house yet. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the greatest arena of our sport. Now, after an intro like that, there can be absolutely no doubt as to who I'm talking to today. It is, of course, the mega MC himself, Rob Walker. And this year's tournament is well and truly underway. <laughs> And I've got to say, he's been the most hotly requested interviewee on the BBC Snooker Twitter page, with requests from Greg Banks, Steve Porter and Fraser Money, all asking me to go behind the scenes with Rob Walker. A real privilege to come out here on a stage like this, because you barely have to do any kind of lifting to get the crowd in the mood. You know, for many people, massive snooker fans, it's a highlight of their year coming here to the Crucible and yeah, people are coming in, they might have had a cheeky bet, they've had a, maybe a pint or a cup of tea, they've had a bit of lunch. They're already in the mood, they've already decided to spend their hard-earned cash in a recession. Of course, when a little bit of time elapses, I'll let a few more come in, might ask a couple of questions. When did he win his first world title? He's taken three. 2001. 2001, give her a tickle of applause. Dish out a few goodie bags oh, and then at some that. stage I'll start She'll looking for a couple of youngsters that we can pull out the front, get them backstage, Blinking and do a dummy walk-on. Ronnie O'Sullivan! Rob, well, what is, what's emceeing all about? What, what's your role? What have you got to do? My role is to try and, first of all, is to thank the audience for being there and to make them feel like they're part of an occasion. But more important than that, my job is to make sure that when the two or four players especially here, come out onto the big stage, that they're made to feel special, that they're made to feel like they've achieved something, and that being here is a big deal. You know, not everyone likes the way I do the emceeing, and I understand that because it's a subjective thing, and some people like it, that it's close to cheesy, some don't. But as long as the players like it, and as long as the players feel important when they come onto the big stage, then I've done my job. You know, of course it's a little bit tongue-in-cheek. You know, let's get the boys on the bays. Let's get the boys on the bays! But, you know, it's a bit of fun. And I think, by and large, the players now like that they come onto music. You know, the music just helps with that little layer of razzmatazz. But at the same time, you know, the, the, the real core of what the game stands for has not been affected by music or, or by me being a bit louder than previous MCs. It's still a great game, played by gentlemen, watched by millions of people. Thank you very much for coming. Enjoy what should be a super first session of Stuka. Thank you. Now, if you've got any ideas for behind-the-scenes coverage, things you'd like to see and do backstage here at the Crucible, then get in touch with me, Steve, via Twitter, at BBC Snooker.